next comes question number 2 which is simplify where we have to simplify the given sums the first one is x to the power 5 into x to the power 3 here we are going to apply the laws that we have learned so in this case you can see that both the bases are same the exponents are different so what we are going to do is we are going to keep the base as it is and we are going to add the exponents giving us the answer of x to the power 8 you can see that it's a pretty easy sum so i'll show you one with division also x to the power 8 by x to the power 3 here again the exponents are different but the bases are same so what we do here is we keep the exponent as it is and then as the law for division states that we have to subtract the ex exponents so we subtract the exponents and we get x to the power 5 so I tell you this is again a pretty basic sum I hope you don't have any problem in understanding one more sum I'll show you from here which is 5 x to the power minus 3 y z square whole raised to the power minus 2. Here notice one thing more than one variable is involved. So what we do here is we first look at this one which is negative. As it is negative so what we have to do is we have to reciprocate. So upon reciprocating we will get 1 by 5 5 x to the power minus 3 y z square whole raised to the power 2 now in this case when there are more than one variables and one exponent each of each of the variables and the number as well will be raised to the power of 2 so this becomes 1 by 5 to the power 2 which is 5 into 5 that is 25 x to the power minus 3 which is again raised to the power 2 so this becomes x to the power minus 3 into 2 then y y had only 1 as its exponent so 1 into 2 we write only 2 here then comes z which already had 2 as its exponent and then which was again raised to the power of 2 so according to the law we multiply 2 here so finally what we get is 1 by 25 x to the power minus 6 y to the power 2 and z to the power 4 ok you have one homework from this question also which is this I am writing it down 3 x square whole raised to the power 3 I hope you have understood this 3 sums and this is your homework you have another homework which I am showing you right now question number 3 you can pause the video take a screenshot or write down the question Question number 3 which states that write the option that indicates the correct meaning of the given expression. You have two questions with options given. You have to find out which is the correct option. So first one is 4n cube means there are three options. Second one is 6x cube into y square means the following. You have to choose the correct option from these two. In the next video again I will be telling you about the remaining number of sums.